getting an education is a rare opportunity for children in the Central African Republic. The country descended into major internal conflict in 2013 when the mostly Muslim Seleka rebels overthrew the then Christian president. Up to 20% of students in the Central African, Central African Republic still cannot access school since the crisis began in March 2013, so that's been actually four years. And the principal reasons for this are fighters have occupied the schools. During the conflict, the Christian anti-Balaka militia retaliated with a violent backlash against Muslim civilians. While the country has since held successful democratic elections, many remote areas remain outside the government's control. Violence by armed groups has risen sharply since last October. Various armed groups have also used schools as bases for years. The Seleka occupied the school. We haven't been going to class for three years. They left the school in November 2016 and classes started up again. But they had burnt all the books and we don't have any left. Fighters have destroyed the schools or damaged the schools to the extent that they can't be used. Uh, teachers are afraid to actually go back to school and parents are, are still afraid to send their children to school. So we're really at risk of having a, a lost generation of students in the Central African Republic with these numbers. Um, Human Rights Watch organization, which visited schools in November and January, interviewed children and teachers as well as fighters. They called on the country's government and the United Nations to do more to ensure that armed groups stay far away from classrooms. In late 2015, the UN High Command in Bangui issued a directive saying that it's strictly forbidden for any UN troops to occupy a school, even if that school has been abandoned. Under no circumstances are UN troops supposed to be there. And so we're worried when we find that UN troops are completely ignoring or don't know about a very important directive that's come out of the capital. Though there are efforts to ensure that peace remains, areas that are out of reach for the government experience waves of violence. In some cases, fighters may vacate a school but still operate meters away. I'm Vic Chege for CGTN.